Hi, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, I'm a little hoarse today because I lost my voice over the weekend, but I'm back. Today's video is how to make your partner jealous so that they don't want to lose you or they want you back. Okay, these are some steps you have to take. They might be hard, but they work. Okay, a lot of people do the exact opposite, which is why they have no luck. Okay. <clears throat> getting an ex back or getting the attention they deserve from their partner. Now, a lot of men are going to chime in and say, this is immature, this is why I don't play games, and da, da, da. but it still works no matter what they're talking about. It still works, okay? First of all, men have egos, and women know that. So you need to play on their ego. That is their weak spot, okay, ladies? Men are naturally possessive by nature okay so to see you with another man to think about you being with another man to visualize you going to dinner dates drinks and whatever with another man will bother them okay um if you're always available if every phone call is answered if every text is answered if they know where you are sorry you guys if they know where you are and know that you're not going to be dressed up but in sweats and you know whatever whatever they're not worried about you they're not going to be jealous of anything you know so what you need to do is set up what I call your jealousy plan okay whenever you're not getting that attention when you feel like he's his attention is straying or if he's already broken up with you and you want him back and you think there's a chance and you kind of still interact with each other you got to make them jealous, okay? Um, and this goes for any relationship type, okay? It could be same sex, whatever. But you got to make the other person jealous and work on their ego or work on their weak, weak spot, okay? For example, if there's a place that you and that person always go and it's kind of like a special place to you and you want to make them jealous, let them know you're going there Oh, I'm going to, you know, such and such tonight. Just me and the girls. Yeah, just me and the girls. Uh, we're going to have such a good time. I can't wait. But get dressed up like you're going on a date. Like, look better than you ever looked when you went out with him. Like, do extra. Buy new underwear. Make him think that there's something up. Okay? Um, get extra, extra, extra. Like, like you're getting ready to go to prom. Okay? Get new stuff. Get new outfit. New perfume knew everything he's gonna get suspicious and be like why are you doing all this to go out with the girls you know oh you know we just want to look extra good you know girls compete against each other you know and then he's gonna say well maybe I want to come too or you know are you sure you don't want me to come you know that's our spot oh no 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 I don't want you to come um <clears throat> and just like wear something very sexy like y'all know that song freak em dress by Beyonce Get out something very sexy, okay, to make him think that either A, you're really going out on a date with another man, or B, there's a possibility that you can meet another man that night that will replace him, okay? Don't be afraid to get dolled up and go out with your girls and let him know you're going, okay? And, like, to get him jealous, you got to do extra, okay? And go out. Don't answer your phone the whole night. Turn it off. Don't even answer that thing. If he's not giving you the attention when you're not away from him, dressed up, looking like, you know, you can grab any dude or whatever, then don't answer his calls now. Why is he all of a sudden texting? Let him wonder. Okay, this is going to work on his mind. So now that you're out and about having fun doing whatever you're doing you could be out alone you could be really with friends or you could be with a guy friend a gay friend whoever but come back later than you normally come back okay don't come back on time don't come back on curfew come back a little bit later okay and, and then make up some excuse oh i had to make sure my friend got home okay she drank too much and da da da, da. He, he's not gonna really question that and just go to sleep don't talk about it because you know, when you really went out with your girls and you had a good time, you're going to talk, want to tell your friend, your boyfriend, oh, we did this, 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 and that. Don't tell him nothing. Leave him wondering. Let him ask all the questions. Now you have his attention, okay? 
Um, the next way, like if you don't live with the guy <clears throat> and he stops calling and texting, send him an accidental text for another person, okay? Like, I had fun last night, let's do it again. And then see what he says, text back. Like, oh, I didn't see you last night. What are you talking about? You know, if he hasn't texted you for a long time and you're waiting on him to text you back and he's been like two days, three days and he, you have to text him first all the time. Text him, oh, I had fun last night. Let's do it again. <laughs> and then if he texts you back, say, oh, I'm so, I must sent that to the wrong number. You know, <clears throat> bam. Well, who'd you go out with? Now he's texting. Now he's texting. Right now he's interested again. Okay. And it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I meant to send that to somebody else. No, don't worry about it. Then, then you stop texting him, okay? Then he's going to be texting you, calling you, da-da-da-da. Oh, who are you going out with, and da-da-da-da. Okay, so accidental text to the wrong person by accident, okay? Um, another way, like, let's say someone broke up with you, didn't give you any reason, just stopped calling you, um, communicating with you, and it's been like weeks and you basically think they're cheating and you've moved on uh they've moved on from you okay so this is what you do to get them jealous you post like if they follow you on facebook or whatever you post a picture of you and a very attractive person that you know and don't put any explanation just bam pick you know um go find somebody that's very attractive and get in the selfie with them photobomb them i don't know you know and don't put any names, don't put any explanation, just put click, you know, and <clears throat> don't put your, okay, this is the worst mistake women make. Getting on Facebook, getting all dolled up, taking a thousand pictures of themselves after they've been broken up with by their boyfriend, thinking their boyfriend's going to click and watch. And he's like, oh, she's just doing that to get attention, to get a new man. But if you go ahead and take a picture with a new man in person, it's it's already strike one jealousy they're going to be trying to call you so what you've been doing they're going to act like they didn't see it so what have you been doing oh da, da, da. and then they'll probably bring it up oh i saw your facebook who's a new guy you know oh him oh he's nobody don't worry about him why what's up well you he looks you know you look pretty happy yeah we are happy and start saying we when you talk about him say we 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 even though you're not a couple even though you'll probably you know not be with that guy for real when you talk about him say we like a couple he's gonna get pissed okay all of a sudden he's gonna want you back okay um another way is to become very successful like start your own business start your own online whatever youtube just do something that's really about yourself and that you could care less what he's doing because you're so super busy making money um you know getting the things that you want or whatever whatever you know you got to raise you start your business you're you're about yourself now so totally get into yourself make over you know look like a whole improved version of yourself so that when he sees you or when he's you know sees your pictures and things on social media and things that you're doing he's impressed and when he's impressed he's going to be mad at himself for not you know giving you the attention that you deserved or for dumping you or whatever and when he tries to get you back the first time you always say no the first time he attempts to say hey you want to get back together say no because that's a test that's a test to see are you doing all this for me are you doing all of this for my attention so that I want you back okay I want you back and then like two weeks later he'll leave you again after he's gotten what he wants okay so you always reject the first offer you say mm -mm. no I don't want you back I'm happy I'm better without you oh my god do you see all the things that are going on in my life I know you're on my Facebook page like every, when I dumped you or when you dumped me everything just totally improved in every area of my life and just start going off about how your life is so much better without him oh my god you know what I got a raise you know um I found a, a nicer apartment, um, you know, I got, I started my new business, I got a couple new friends that are so cool to hang out with, and they're, you know, they're just teaching me all this new stuff, and, you know, just go on and on and on, like, you're excited to talk to him again, but you're only talking about yourself and your great grand life, 
to where he gets to the point where he's so tired of hearing about everything he kind of either says oh I gotta go and hangs up or whatever this is how you know if he really wants you back if he keeps trying the third time give him a chance to prove himself to you now I'm telling you some women will take him right back on the first one because they're so desperate but if you take him back on the first one he'll he's gonna leave you in two weeks okay you gotta wait for the third attempt ladies the third attempt mean he not gonna give up he really wants you back and not just because you're doing better without him but he really realizes that he messed up and that he wants you back okay so on the third time give him a chance to make it up to you don't say okay I'll be back with you oh, da, 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 da. okay well I'll let you keywords I will let you make it up to me what do you plan on doing this means the ball is in his court he has to impress you he has to make plans he has to do all that stuff you have nothing to do with it now he's got to sit back and think about all the improvements that you've had in your life how much you've upgraded now he has to upgrade his thinking and his technique and his game okay to impress you because now your life is just so much way better without him now he has to come even harder to get your attention okay because you allowed him another chance see how you flip the script okay so you got to make men jealous reject their first two offers give them a chance to make up things to you and let them prove themselves okay to get the man chasing you again to get that interest that you can't have this anymore type feeling that's what men thrive on that's what they want to chase to prove themselves and a lot of them will say they don't but I guarantee you they enjoy it okay um, <clears throat> if they have the same old boring predictable girl who's at home wearing the sweats as soon as they get home knows what she's gonna cook for dinner or knows what she's gonna call him text him and say what time she's gonna text all that if, if that's so predictable he's bored he's gonna get bored okay if you don't know what you're doing this is why I say ladies don't text your man as every day at the same time do it at different times don't do it at all sometimes oh I forgot keep them guessing if they can predict everything you do you're doing it wrong okay you don't want to be predictable like today I'm my husband might, might come home I'm not even here you know I might be out having a cocktail or I might be out shopping you know I might be home in sweats and uh, watching TV I might come in at the same time he does you know it just might all be different every day I don't text him every day he don't text me every day unless I need something from him or he needs something from me but to keep it going you know sometimes like you have to keep them guessing about what you're doing you know if he sees like before he leaves that I look extra good that day he's gonna text believe me he's gonna be like what you doing that means he's interested you know because I didn't tell him no explanation where I'm going, you know, blah, 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 blah. He's going to text me if he's thinking, you know, well, hey, she's looking extra good today. I wonder why. Oh, I just did it because I have to make YouTube videos. Huh? You know, sometimes he'll pop home early. Oh, I got off work early. Very unexpected. Spont spontaneity is the key in any relationship. And when you're making a man jealous... You can't do the same thing over and over and back to back. You got to do something totally different. Like, <clears throat> even if you got to Photoshop stuff, girl, I don't care. Photoshop yourself at a beach on vacation somewhere. Okay, I don't care. Make it look good, though. Because if you get busted, that's very humiliating. <laughs> or post an old pic that he probably never seen of you on vacation somewhere and pretend it's new. I don't know. But figure it out. Or go somewhere, take a picture of yourself, and, you know, post it. Just go do different things that you never did with him. Like you have a new lease on life. He's going to be so jealous and he's going to want you back. Because men always want their ex back if they really like if they really made a mistake. They always want their ex back, ex back when they're living better than them, doing better than them, and happier without them. Then they want them back saying, oh, I wasn't, you know, I want you back now. I want to enjoy you now that you, you know... I can see you can do better than me you know so 
then you have the upper hand when you get back in the relationship because you're like I was happy without you you begged me back you know <laughs> now you have the upper hand okay believe me it works if you follow that you will be successful in what you're doing if you give in if you get weak you're gonna suffer even worse because he's gonna dump you right again don't get weak I said the third time ladies do not take him back the first two times he begs you back the third time and let him prove himself to you don't just take him back say I will let you make it up to me and I will decide if I want you back you are the one who chooses if he, you want him back in his life even though you're doing all of this for him he doesn't know it and he doesn't need to know it okay so believe me it will work you just have to stay strong focus on your goal know that men will fall into your trap because they love the chase. They always want what they can't have. And if you're living so much better than you were when you were with him, he's going to think that he wasn't good enough for you and he was holding you back and that he's the problem. And that will affect his ego and he can't have that. Okay. I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.